Hi ladies, it's DL. So I'm here to share with you my mini that I made for my friend Carol that I met. Um, we got talking and we decided to swap minis and I recorded mine the other day. The um, vintage mini that you've seen was the one that she made me. So thanks again Carol and here's your mini. I really hope you like it as much as I liked yours. but. Uh, and I'm doing this one-handed because my scrap room is a mess. I decided to reorganize it last night, and I, my tripod is, like, stuffed in the corner, so it's one-handed. Um, so here we go. Um, I put some ribbon down there with some beads. You can see that. And then I ironed on the word live. And I got a prima flower there, and then I did a couple of Velma flowers and stuck a little heart in the middle. And then I got a key lock there, and there is a little key there that says uh, secrets. And then I put some fibers on the binding rings. So that's that page. And then over here, second page, I have some bling there and there, and then some lace ribbon there, and I got a flower that I distressed and put stickles on it. And it says together there. And then if we were to open this up. Sorry, ladies. So she's got a spot for journaling, or photos, and then some journaling. Another photo and some journaling. Another photo and some journaling and some more photos. So it opens right up. So, and I distressed all the music paper, crinkled it up and distressed it, so I made it look vintage. On this page here, I have a doily that I glimmer missed it and kind of distressed. Um, so I thought she could put a photo in there. I stole Gina's idea, I hope you don't mind Gina, about just sticking the strips of paper here and there and it kind of looks like it's peeking out from underneath. Um, here I took a piece of um, cardboard and distressed it and glimmer missed it and then I put spectacular there. And then I got a prima flower, a couple of prima flowers actually, and some feathers and I glimmer missed it the flower as well. And then over here I have a little birdie with a little feather coming out of his tail. And I put a frame there. I tried to um, crackle paint it, but it wouldn't work. It kept chipping off on me, so I just took it all off altogether. It was driving me crazy. Um, here I have a flower, a couple flowers that I distressed. Put some bling in there. And then I put a tag in olive oil tag, vintage tag, and then another one. I don't know if you can see, but I stamped it background image and then stamped it again and then I um, embossed it with clear embossing. And I got some fibers up there, a little ticket there, and then some lettering that says love, beautiful dreamer, and be happy. And then over on this side, I got a frame so she can stick a picture in there. And I did a lollipop flower with some feathers. And then a little journaling down there on some vintage paper. And over here, I stuck a ribbon across. And then I made this flower with my uh, Cricut. So I just thought it was so cool. And it's nice and big. And then I put some bling there. And I put another little prima there with some bling. <clears throat> and then a paper clip with just some tickets. It says party and then the other one. And then up here she's got journaling spot that I just dressed. And then she's got another tag that says dream. And tower. And then a journaling spot on the back. And then she can stick a photo there. And then I put stickles all the way around as well. So, And here I took a vintage photo and I kind of just dressed it myself and I put some ribbon there and then a little charm 
don't know if you can see that or not. I'll turn it over. And it's got a little rhinestone in the middle. And I go over Mr. the page too. Then I made a Tim Holtz flower and then I messed with that and stuck it on a coin envelope and then she's got a tag in there so it's kind of blurry, sorry about that ladies that's what you get when you're doing it one handed so stick that right back on there flip that page and then over here I took a top note, cut it out uh, Glimmer misted it, so she can put a picture there, and then I got a heritage down there that I distressed. It was a vellum piece that I tore and distressed, and all the, I should tell you too, most of the background papers on here are from, um, Kane Company, the Ancestry line, so I love that line, and then I put a tag in here, it says Dream, and I Glimmer missed it, and then I punched the edge with my punch, my border punch. And some fibers on top. And then over onto this page, um, I just cut out another background page, or like sheet, same kind, like the scalloped, and then cut it in half and used it for like a pocket. So, and then I stuck a charm there and I made like the little scrunchy flower, glimmer mist, it's all flat now from being put in the back of the book. And then she's got a couple of tags, some fibers, another tag that I embossed, and then another one that says random thoughts, but important thoughts, so ten of them. And then I stuck a little frame there so she can stick in a picture if she wants. And on this side, I made a little pocket. It's got a little keyhole there. And then she's got, I got some Prima flowers here that I glimmer missed it. Put some bling in there. And then up here, she's got some tags. And then just a journaling tag that I just dressed. Um, this is kind of asking all about her some information. It's actually a sticker, but I thought it'd be kind of cool for her. There's a little top note she could use for a picture or journaling. And then there's another little sticker, and it asks her some questions. Do whatever she wants with that. And then the last page, um, I took some corrugated cardboard and distressed it, and uh, Glimmer misted it. And then I stuck this little tag down there of these birds. And in behind here, too, I have the mulberry paper that I glimmer misted as well. So I stuck that in there. And then in behind corrugated cardboard, I have a tag that I put some fibers on. And I used the Tim Holtz mask with the crown because she is the queen, as far as I'm concerned. And I borrow, bo um, border. Oh, sorry, punched with my border punch on the side there and distressed it. So that's that. Put that in after. And then on the very back page, I put not, to, I just kind of left it plain, and then I put Friends Forever and I put DL May 2010, Jasper, Alberta, Canada. So, Carol, this is your mini. I really hope that you enjoy it. I had so much fun making it. It was my very first mint vintage mini that I made, so I will be getting it out in the mail to you today. Take care, everyone. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.